Hello and welcome to Thursday's programme. Coming up tonight between now and half past six. Be running up that be running up that be running up that building. We meet the Kate Bush tribute band from the West Country who say business is booming after the success of Stranger Things. Uh, next tonight to the song that was first released back in 1985 but is currently topping the charts after finding a new legion of young fans. Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush featured on the popular Netflix sci-fi drama Stranger Things and it's not only provided newfound popularity for the singer. No, it has also boosted the career of many tribute bands including Cloud Busting from Cornwall who have been telling us what the song means for them. When I was a teenager, you know, sharing mixtapes, who would have thought that 37 years later, she is number one in so many countries. It's absolutely phenomenal for us as Kate Bush fans to think that there's so many more people on the planet who know about Kate Bush now, obviously due to Stranger Things, but it's such an exciting time for us as, as Kate Bush fans. It's finally she's here and no longer, as some people think, who don't get her, she's not a niche sort of artist. She's always been there, carving her own path. It's you and me, you won't be unhappy, oh. Come on, baby, come on, darling. Let me steal this moment from you now. Come on, angel, come on, come on, darling. It's a really emotive song, actually. If I could make a deal with God and get him to swap our places, and that's what so many of us in relationships want to be able to do, you know. And I think to sing it, you don't inhabit the character of Kate Bush, you inhabit the songs, and that's what's really important. And I think there's a strong message in so much of her work, and Running Up That Hill is, is a great example. It has been absolutely um, incredible, actually, the interest um, since Running Up That Hill became number one. And I think it's, um, yeah, it's great to be down with the kids <laughs> at the moment. But yeah, I'd, I'd be really interesting to see if we do see an influx of younger audiences. And I get him to smoke up the lace says I'll be running up that road I'll be running up that hill I'll be running up that building yeah. The thing about Kate Bush's music is the second, third time, fourth time you hear it you hear new things buried deep down and that's what we want to try and do we want to find those little things that you know are there but you don't expect to hear live we want it to sound we want it to sound like a as good as a CD but with a live context Come on, come on darling you meet other like-minded Kate fans, which you may not have met, you know, as a kid or as, as a child growing up, you know, but now they seem to, they're, they're coming out of the woodwork and people say, oh, I've been a Kate fan for years. It's, really? Why did I not know this? Um, yeah, such a long back catalogue, going back to 1978, that's a long old career. See enjoying that that was great yeah and lovely to hear how different people kind of interpret that song great to see it making a comeback as absolutely. well absolutely